<laughs> 17 minutes after 9 o'clock now. It is the season for suntans, and you know what? If you're not careful, you're going to end up with that burn. But mm -hmm. all that time in the sun can have a much longer effect even after summer. And Dr. Mary Jo Kearns is our dermatologist from Dermatologists of Greater Columbus, and she's here today because that's kind of her business. She helps prevent <laughs> the damage that people are doing. Exactly. That's yeah. one of our missions, preventing skin cancer, and along the way you'll prevent a lot of the aging that you see. So I think Sean actually came across one of the journals. It's by the Skin Cancer Foundation Journal that had some excellent before and after photos talking about skin aging. Mm -hmm. So we're actually reviewing that today. And I think the first picture series that the audience will see is a series um, of a before and after photo of hands. So when we get a chance, we'll put that up. Yeah. But the hands... When you think about it, I mean, the hands, is there an area that's exposed more? Not really. Probably not. Your I mean, hands are always in the sun. Probably your hands, sun. Your hands and your face always. are always in the sun. Right. That's so true. Well, and it's interesting, you know, ultraviolet A gets through window glass. So when we're driving, oh. our hands get an extra dose of ultraviolet radiation. Because you're hanging onto the steering wheel, so it's coming right at... Oh, okay. So exactly. why are people concerned with their hands, and how much difference can that make? Well, so your hands basically, they really determine, you know, the age of the patient. Oh, so I know. You there can, you go, right there. Yeah. Look at the difference. She had severe spotting so that damage I'm was actually it's a woman. it is I think okay. it's a woman too okay. so that damage was improved with a laser and in this case the study used an alexandrite laser you could also use a fractional co2 laser which that particular laser it's very quick healing not a lot of downtime everything we do hurts a little bit but this one's not as bad because it's not burning deeply the pigment okay. doesn't usually go very deep so okay. it's not a deep procedure it oh. heals up pretty quickly probably within a week or so so what are those age i mean is it like a mini tan just like little spots of tan or what what is it that's a good question um it's called a lentigo that's the medical term and it's extra pigment cells so you've increased the number of cells remember those pigment cells your melanocytes they're protecting the dna in your keratinocyte trying to prevent cancer and they overpopulate when you're exposed to um, to sun because you're trying to protect your skin oh, huh. interesting. so it's a protective mechanism but you see it from sun well we okay. do have other <laughs> pictures to look at now a lot of people think you get the lines in your face oh. just from smoking but right. I, I mean it's also an age thing and a lot of people don't smoke so it's so true but they call non, them smoking lines right. or what do they call smokers lines smokers are those perioral rightids um, but you can get it just now? perioral righted <laughs> the right. medical term so okay. perioral around the mouth and a righted is the medical term for a wrinkle ah. and you can get them from you know oh, sucking yeah. from a straw a lot of patients that purse their lips when they talk or even singers get a lot of those smokers Lines. Look at the difference there. So mm -hmm. this person had two procedures done. She also had laser resurfacing, and in that case, they did a deeper laser called fractional CO2 with a deep setting, and they filled in the wrinkles from the bottom with a filler. And fillers, um, we brought a couple here today, Juvederm, Restylane, and Perlane wow. are some of the three more common now that's, fillers. that's an actual injection. Well, that's this a is a Botox syringe. Okay. Yeah, so that's a <laughs> syringe that we use to inject um, super strong Botox. But Perlane, Restyl, and Juvederm, these are, it's like a clearish liquid type gel that you put into the huh. wrinkle and you inject it into the second layer of skin. And by doing that, you're basically improving the area where the collagen has basically shrunk down. So it does hurt, mm -hmm. it bruises. Most people get some bruising for sure. There's some swelling and then it's tolerable though. You know, it, oh, how it long does it last? Up. Six to 12 months on oh, wow. average. I'd say most people get about nine months. So for volume, it would just plump you. Exactly, okay. exactly. Huh, so yeah. Take care of some of those yeah. wrinkles. Now, we also have a picture of a, a man's face. Right. And there's a huge difference here. I mean, look at left to right. Wow. It's a whole different person. It, he, I agree. He looks completely different. So this was a three-fold application basically they did laser again and in this case it was a medical type laser called photodynamic therapy where they put medicine on the face and then they activate it with a blue light and that peels off precancers mm. that actually is covered by insurance most of the time because you're you're basically treating precancers okay you can't really see them that well on the before picture but they're little rough patches that you'll see on sun exposed areas okay oh. So they did that. They also went ahead and did filler. So his lower face, they gave him volume by giving him one of the filler injections and possibly more than one. And then his forehead, you see that complete yeah. lack of uh -huh. wrinkling. So there they did the Botox. Wow. But can he smile? I'm sure he can still <laughs> smile. <laughs> He's got something to smile about now. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> Just not showing That's as incredible. much. incredible. Huh? But so it's interesting how you can see the different layers of treatments that are available. And none of them are permanent, which is kind of nice, just in case you don't like it. Right. right. So how much damage is from sun? If you were to look, I mean, we talked about smoking, we talked about other things, but how much 
damage is actually caused by sun? So they say that 90% of the aging changes that we see can actually come from the sun. 90%? 90%. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, we still need some sun because we need the vitamin D and all. So you've got to get that moderate Moderate amount of sunlight is helpful for vitamin D. You can also get vitamin D from your diet. Right. Remember, sardines, they're right. the best, best source of vitamin, <laughs> they're my favorite. So, but you know, vitamin D fortified milk, any of those are good, um, you know, for a good vitamin D source. So it doesn't have to just be the sun, but right. it is a benefit for sure. But use your sunscreen. Use your sunscreen. Cover You'll up. cut your melanoma risk by 50% if you use your sunscreen. And of course, reduce the aging. Wow. Incredible. Thank you. We appreciate, Thank you. appreciate it. Wasn't that amazing stuff that, they can you do? Know, the before and after is incredible.